Good morning. May 64-year-old British woman was found dead with stab wounds in her home on the Oriwella Costa at around 4 a.m. yesterday with her husband, who's 69, understood to have been arrested. Her husband, who's also thought to be British, is understood to have been arrested as he tried to flee the scene. He is under police guard in hospital with a knife wound to the stomach. It was not immediately clear how he had suffered the injury. A neighbour raised the alarm at around 3.50 a.m. Police responders found the victim's body shortly after they reached the property before arresting the partner. Local reports said the unnamed suspect had been included on a data base after being accused of domestic violence in 2019, two years after the couple moved to Spain. His wife reportedly declined to press charges and the case was dropped soon after. Officials urged fire tourists to keep away from blazes raging in the east of the country yesterday, saying onlookers were putting themselves at risk and disrupting efforts to quell the flames. More than 500 firefighters, backed by 20 planes and helicopters, were battling the fire four days after it broke out near the village of Villanueva de Vivir in the Valencia region. Police had spotted 14 cyclists near the scene trying to get a closer look. Gabriela Bravo, the regional head of interior affairs in the Valencia region, told reporters, We ask once again, and above all tourists, not to engage in fire tourism, not to approach the perimeter area, she said. Spain's first major wildfire of the year has destroyed more than 4,000 hectares of forest and forced 1,700 villagers to leave their homes in the Valencia and Aragon regions. Residents said the fire could have a devastating impact on the local economy. An unusually dry winter across parts of southern Europe has raised fears there could be a repeat of last year's devastating wildfires. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez said on Saturday he would push for a fair peace in the war in Ukraine that included territorial integrity during a state visit to China this week. Sanchez, speaking to journalists at the Ibero-America summit meeting in the Dominican Republic, said he would discuss peace prospects with the Chinese President Xi Jinping, who is trying to position himself as a mediator in the war between Russia and Ukraine. Last month, Beijing outlined a 12-point peace plan and asked for a comprehensive ceasefire. President Xi recently travelled to Moscow, where he described China's position on the conflict as impartial. A new faces dominated European Championship qualifying on Saturday as Spain's coach Luis de la Fuente swept aside Norway in his first game in charge. Best known until now for coaching Spain's youth team, de la Fuente didn't have to deal with Norway striker Erling Haaland, who missed the game with a groin injury. The 3-0 victory extended Spain's record of 23 consecutive home wins in qualifying games for the European Championship. In the other game in Group A, Scotland beat Cyprus 3-0 in coach Steve Clark's first match since extending his contract through to the 2026 World Cup. That's the latest from DRE. I'm Bob James.